All right, here we are at the next game. Um, this is no good. One power, it's also depleted. <laughs> Do we not draw this film banner every single game? It's the only one in the deck. Uh, we're in some trouble, we don't have any red. But then, good thing is we don't have any red cards. But this hand, um, one turn one, turn two interaction, which is not bad, uh, but we do need to draw power. This is a very reactive hand. Um, with a combo deck like this, you want proactive hands usually. Hey, another Ricano player. Uh-oh, I can't deal with this. Oh no. Uh, that's not good. Oh no, this is not good. This is not not good. Oh, he's a finest hour as well. Nope. But we can't deal with the sword. Oh no. And we're stuck on power too. Mm, still can't do anything. But my opponent is also stuck on 3 power. <laughs> so, I guess there's that. Uh, let's play this and hope he doesn't have a removal spell. He probably does though, like a Vanquish. Okay, Ronan is okay. The 3-2. Um... Hmm. Let's do it this way. I want to play the Varus Favor no matter what because I, uh, the, the power is more important to me than anything else right now. Uh, so let's just go ahead and Lightning Storm away his units. Uh, this gives him the opportunity to torch, yep. Eh, whatever. What are you gonna do? Because it, it wouldn't have worked out anyway, right? Because if I attacked him... Um, if I had attacked him, he would have just blocked and torched anyway. So it would have made no difference. The only thing difference is, I would have a lightning storm in my hand. Um... That's fine. All right, now things are things are looking on the up and up. But let's just go ahead and kill this. Get rid of that sword. I could have permafrost and then played the West Wing Herald, which is probably the correct play. But man, this deck has. Weapons and I'm um, yeah. I guess I should have. I guess I should have done that anyway. Let's bring back this um, Cabal Master because <clears throat> I would like to infiltrate infinite times. I'm probably gonna use. The feeding. If he if he's not going to be able to kill my West Wing Herald, yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, I should have permafrosted his. Um, oh no! Oh, that's fine. I should have permafrosted his Valkyrie Enforcer the other turn. So that was a that was a mistake. Actually, I don't care that much about the 2-5. Well, I'll still kill it. Um, I will feeding time that next. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now he's... Yeah, he's drawn out of his mana screw. So he's doing quite well. Um, let's start by attacking him. He's most likely going to put the 4-4 on the 2-2 and then take 9, go to 11. And then I can clean the board with Lightning Storm, which is exactly as we orchestrated it. There we go. Um, next, we're most likely going to use... No, actually, there's nothing in the yard worth dark returning, so feeding time. 
Feeding time would be... Oh, no. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But we still have 9 power on board, so my opponent's very close to dying to just straight combat damage here. Let's just play that out. <clears throat> my opponent's aggressive deck doesn't have that many small units. It has a lot of 4 power 2 fives. <laughs> Alright. Um... Yeah, I don't think these centaurs are very good. It's too weak, and his deck seems to be very cluttered on the 3 and 4 drop slot. Um, Alright. Uh, lost against one Rakano deck and beat another. Um, I think we have recorded enough games. Um, I was really hoping to fight against some of the tier 1 decks. Uh, this deck is surprisingly good against Felon Control, surprisingly good against uh, Chalice Control, uh, not very good against Praxis, and actually okay against Argent Poor. Not great, but not bad either. Um, because uh, because Argent Poor plays tends to play one big card at a, tur at a time, and as long as they're not tempoing you and out um, sorry, out tempoing you and, and developing the boards much faster and overwhelm you on the board state, then this deck has a chance to come back. Even though it is uh, bad to fight against Auric Hammers with your Aegis units like West Wing Heralds. But um, I think that's all the game I'm going to record for this deck for now. That's already a lot of games. I, I'm not sure that I'll be able to run into a lot of tier 1 decks at this rank, 400. Um, I may have to do a little bit of grinding. And climb my way back up to maybe top 100 and two, maybe top 200 um, with a real deck, and then try to look for some good opponents or real or opponents with real decks. I'm sure all my opponents are good, but they're all just playing janky brews anyway right now, uh, just like me. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I apologize for my raspy no uh, voice. I am sick. Um, if you like what you see, please give me a like or a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. I will be doing more draft videos. I haven't climbed into Masters yet this season. Um, so I will definitely be doing a couple more draft videos if you're interested in that. And, uh, and I do have a few more fun uh, ranked decks to show you. There's another version of this deck that uses um, a different engine instead of the Gorgon Fanatics and Haunting Scream. I made another version that uses. Um, uh, the the three two whatever herald the east wing or the north wing herald and then um uh, trans the, the 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 one power card that transforms a unit into one plus power cost. I have a deck that's built on that combo as well, and that's actually pretty fun as well. But it's not as good as this one. So yeah, stay tuned for more content from me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.